Daniel Larson is a TikToker, and I can't confirm his age. From what I've seen, he's in his 30s, according to some posts that I've seen. But there's no, like, famous birthdays or anything that I can find so far. But he is definitely over the age of 18 and should not be talking to children. However, he continues to do so. And as far back as early 2020, I've seen some stuff come up about this guy as well. So people have been talking about this for a very long time now, right? And Flexburger has posted on TikTok, his Instagram, and his YouTube channel about this situation, but has since been deleted off of TikTok for harassment or bullying. Basically, he got mass reports, lost his account, and now he's taken to Instagram to post all of the more recent things. And it is pretty bad. I mean... I don't really have anything from way back other than a, an admission of guilt from Daniel admitting to, you know, tugging the monkey to children. I repent that I am sorry for masturbating to pictures to of children you. and grace. I am sorry. So as you can see, he's repented and all is forgiven. Well, at least that's what you would think if you were sick, right? But this guy continues to do stuff. This That was an old admission of guilt. And the more current stuff that's come up, he just continues to deny it. Probably posting 30, 40 TikToks a day saying the allegations are fake. And basically going on about how it's all lies and you shouldn't believe it. Not believe the allegations by at Lex Berger. The allegations against me are fake. Do not believe them. Please, every one of my followers, go harass Flexburger on TikTok, at Flexburger. Once again, the allegations are not true. The media manipulated me and said two different things. They said one thing in the text, and then they would change it. Don't believe it. So he posts a bunch of TikToks in that similar manner, suggesting that his fans should go harass people who are calling him out, that kind of stuff. And it's absolutely disgusting, but we're going to jump into the phone number stuff now where people have commented saying, hey, I'm a minor and I want to talk to you or my friend is a minor and they want to talk to you, that kind of stuff. And then he puts his phone number in the comments after hearting the comments. This person says, Daniel, my friend is 12 and I wants to talk to you. So he hearts the comment and then he posts his phone number, which is blurred just so I can, you know, stay within the community guidelines, even though he put his phone number out there. Uh, the phone number has been disconnected as of lately because obviously it was leaked. And this other person says, Daniel, I'm 13 and I want to talk to you. So Daniel also puts his phone number in the comment as well. And then he soon goes to deny the fact that the phone number is his, saying that the allegations are fake again and that it's not even his phone number. Hello, this is Daniel Larson. Do not believe the allegations against me right now. The phone number is not even mine. Do not believe it. And then shortly after being spam called and texted hundreds of times, he then admits that the phone number is his and that he's going to be changing the phone number. We are working on changing my phone number right now. Everyone, please stay tuned. Sorry for the issue. And after all of this is said and done, he continues to admit to his guilt. This post is more current. I can't verify the date, but by the hair, and by his most recent posts, it seems to be fairly recent where he admits to having CP. I'm sorry for having 500 megabytes of child porn. And despite all of the allegations coming out and people proving and him admitting to it, he then follows up with a really, really weird, uncomfortable video. And I'm going to let you take a listen to it. Oh. 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 So I'm not sure why he posted a video of him moaning and all of that kind of weird stuff, but it's absolutely just beyond weird and creepy that this guy continues to post, deny it, and then moan into the camera for a minute. It's just really, 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 really weird. And there was a video on his TikTok account where he pushes a small child onto a bed. I can't verify who the two children are in the video, but that does sound and look like Daniel in the video. So take a look and maybe you guys can let me know what you think of the video in the comments. 
So that TikTok was actually deleted off of his TikTok account. I don't know if it was for minor safety or by, done by TikTok or if he actually deleted it himself, but it was on his TikTok and now it's not anymore, but the moaning video remains. I, I'm, I'm unsure of what's going on in that video. I don't know who those two children are in relation to him, but given the allegations and given the proof that we have so far, I think it's safe to say that those children are probably in danger and somebody should definitely be looking into this guy, regardless of if they're family or if they're friends or if they're, you know, friends of the family, whatever, regardless, this guy is a menace to society and should not be around children. He should be behind bars and definitely shouldn't have the platform that he has where he lures children in. He's using his platform to target children, to have them trust him. And then he does despicable things to them and sends them disgusting things. I also have a video off of Flexburger's Instagram, which alleges that these are his questions that he's followed on Quora. And it's pretty bad. While I can't confirm whether or not this is actually his or not, I tried to look, but I couldn't find it. But I mean, given the instance, I mean, I think it's worth throwing it in there as well. But again, this is unconfirmed. The other stuff he's admitted to is definitely confirmed, though. But these questions are pretty bad. Is it bad for my 11-year-old daughter to think about sex? He followed August 9th in 2020. Uh, can you have sex when you're 11? Followed in August 9th, 2020. How old were you when the first time you let a man ejaculate inside you? Followed July uh, 2020. What age do you start squirting at? Followed July 2020 as well. How do you squirt at 11? I feel super horny. And here's the next set of questions that he's also followed. These are older things. And again, unconfirmed whether or not he's actually followed these questions. But what does semen taste like? Followed June 2020. Uh, do you enjoy the taste of cum? Why? Followed June 2020. Can you wear a butt plug all day? Followed June 2020. Can I get a butt plug without my parents knowing? Followed June 2020. What are some sex positions for at 13? Followed June 2020. So these are older, but it's absolutely despicable and disgusting if it's true. So let's let's clear the air with that as well. I don't see any way to connect this to him directly other than Flexburger saying it and, you know, people commenting and sharing it as well. But regardless of if that is true or not, it definitely fits the character. It definitely fits who he is. And he is admitted to being a despicable, disgusting piece of garbage. Daniel Larson doesn't deserve his platform. And that's that's all there really is to it. If you enjoy my YouTube videos, you might enjoy my live streams. I stream here on this main channel as often as I can. Um, play games like Warzone or whatever. Subscribe with notifications and then the all button to make sure that you see when I go live. Otherwise, you can join the members for $1 to $10. And regardless of how much you spend, you can watch those old live streams back through the community tab. So that's up to you. Again, if you don't want to give me your money, that's totally cool. No hard feelings, but that's all for this video.